I'm going into this one blind. I found this on Twitter, but uh, unfortunately, since then, it's been replaced with something else. Uh, so, a billion-dollar crypto gaming startup promised riches and de uh, delivered disaster. Again, I, d I don't know what this is going to be, but it just seems so promising to me. Uh, and it feels like a real moment where I can be smug and then look into the camera and go, I told you so, they're turning the frogs gay! Not in the same line as that, but the same sort of moment. Right, so, Axie, oh, bloody Bloomberg, man. Bloomberg, I, I, I hate all these news publication websites. It's still clinging on to the idea that every nanosecond of your life should be monetized for some reason. Anyway, Axie Affinity... Uh, Infinity's version of a play-to-earn video game has crumbled and the company behind it now tells the players who bought into the hype it was never about the money anyway. When you hear that, you know that a company's just given up, throwing their hands up and, and, and throwing in the towel. That looks like an album cover. What album cover does that look like? There is a, there's an album cover that looks just like that. Illustration, Daniel Guerrero Fernandez for Bloomberg Business Week. I doubt he designed an album cover. Over the course of his life, Alejo Lopez de Armentia. I'm so sorry. I'm British. We can't do Mexican or Spanish. I'm so sorry. Has played video games for a variety of reasons. There was the thrill of competition, the desire of companionship, and, at base, the need to pass the time in his 20s, feeling isolated while working for a solar panel company in Florida. Of course, you're going to feel isolated working for... You know, it's not a team of 50. You take a big solar panel, and there's, like, another dude, and his name's Bill, and he hands you the solar panel when you put it on the roof, or your bill. One of the two, of course you're going to feel lonely, um, but you should know that going into it. He spends evenings using video games as a way to socialize with his friends back in Argentina. So I'm so sorry, it's Argentina, where he grew up. But 10 months ago, Argentine Armentia, who's 39, discovered a new game. And with it, a new reason to play, to earn a living. Compared with the massively multiplayer games that he usually played, Axie Affinity was remarkably simple. Players control three member teams uh, of digital creatures that fight one another. The characters are cartoonish blobs distinguished by their unique mixture of interchangeable body parts and unlike Mr. Potato Head, or rather not unlike Mr. Potato Head, uh, during combat <laughs> Why is that in inverted commas? This has me a little bit worried. They cheerily bob in place, waiting to take turns casting spells against their opponents. When a character is defeated, it becomes a ghost. When all three squad members are gone, the team loses. A match takes less than five minutes. All right, well, I, uh, from the, right from the get-go, before reading any more, uh, this sounds automated and fast. Uh, kind of sounds like a mobile game, honestly. There's a lot of mobile games that play just like this. Star Wars, what is it? Uh, Heroes at Galaxy War, um, where you just have a bunch of characters, they fight each other, and then you like build up the stats of your character. Uh, the way that they talk about this is though this is some sort of dream that he's always had. Um, yeah, you get that with a lot of press <laughs> readings. A lot of press don't seem to understand that when, or maybe they do and they're just playing into it, that when a game dev says, I've always wanted to make this game, it's the same, look, it's the same as an, an artist saying, this is the album I've always wanted to make. The other three, yeah, a load of bollocks. I remember hearing this about Harry Styles' new album, which is it's fine, but I remember hearing about him say uh, that, you know, this is the album that I've always wanted to make, as if like, all right, well, the other two don't count then. Even many Axie regulars says it's not much fun, but that hasn't stopped people from dedicating hours of research strategies, haunt haunting Axie-themed Discord channels and Reddit forums and paying for specialized software that helps them build stronger teams. Here we go. Armentia, who's poured about 40 grand into this habit since last August, professes to like the game. Oh, so he didn't make the game? Oh, so he's just into it? They really built this up as if he was the dude who made the game. But he also makes it clear that, uh, that recreation was never his go Okay, so he okay, so he did, he liked the game, and it sounds like he stole the game uh, and then just rebranded it. I was actually hoping that it could become my full-time job, he says. The reason this is possible, or at least it seems possible, for a few weird months like last year, uh, is that Axie is tied to crypto markets. 
Here we go. Um, players got a few smooth love potion SLP tokens for each game they win and can earn another cryptocurrency. Axie Infinity ch shards, AXS, and larger tournaments. The characters themselves know axes are non uh, fungible. Am I? I'm a few beers in. Tokens? Is that refundable? Uh, or NFT? Oh, for fucking NFTs. Whose ownership is tracked on a blockchain, allowing them to be traded like a cryptocurrency as well. So, all right. So this is a hybridization of cryptocurrency and in-game currency, which is essentially the same thing. There are various ways to make money from Axie. Armentia saw his main business as breeding, which doesn't entail playing the game so much as preparing to play it in the future. Players who know Axies can create offers by choose others by choosing uh, to they already own uh, to act as parents and paying a cost in SLP and XSS. Uh, once they do this and wait through the obligatory uh, gestation period, a new character appears with some combination of parents' traits. Uh, they did this with Pokemon. You could take a Ditto to the daycare center and make uh, another version of it, and then trade them. It was awesome. Every new Axie player needs Axies to play, pushing their uh, pr pushing up their price. Armentia started breeding last August at a time when normal economics seemed to not apply. You would be making 30 to 300 to 400 uh, percent on your money in five days guaranteed he said it was stupid so he acknowledges that it's stupid axis created a startup called sky mavis inc so it isn't uh armentia uh <clears throat> heralded all this as a new kind of economic phenomenon the play to earn video game we believe in a world a future where work and play become become one did george orwell teach you nothing it said in a mission statement on this website, we believe in empowering our players and giving them economic opportunities. Welcome to our revolution. By last uh, October, the company founded in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam, four years ago by a group of Asian, European and American entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs, lovely, a lovely word that means nothing had raised more than $160 million from investors, including the venture capital firm Anderson Horowitz and the crypto-focused firm Paradigm at the peak of valuation of about $3 billion the same month. Axie Infinity crossed 2 million daily users, according to Sky Mavis. Okay, this is going to take a long time to read, and I'm not going to continue because I think I've grasped what they're getting at. And I hate it. I really hate this. Uh, like, like I said, um, work should not become leisure, and likewise, leisure should not become work. You let me let me make myself big, so that you can really you can really get involved in. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. My mouse is in a really awkward position. All right. So. I hate the idea of this. I hate it. I hate it desperately, and I think it's terrible. And uh, from what I've read, this uh, venture died, and I'm glad it did, and it absolutely should. Um, yeah, mixing work with leisure, th this is one issue we really have in this country, and I think the US has as well, where, man, people don't understand the importance. There's a fly in my house because I've been sitting in the garden and my um, my back door is right next to me. Um, people don't understand the importance of leisure and being able to chill out and not think about things and just have fun. And for me, honestly, doing this is is fun. You know, I really enjoy venting into this mic and I, I love seeing the production when it's done. But earning money and using video games for money and as, as a business... <sighs> Are you just trying to rip the soul out of things? Are you trying to make things soulless? Video games are some of the only bloody things we have left that are just fun. That we just enjoy. That we just do because they're stupid and we enjoy it. That and music. You know? And even now, like, music is about, oh, hey, support me, bro, on SoundCloud, you know? And we're just listening to people because we support them and we feel that we should and so that we can tweet about it or that we can review it if we're Fantana or whoever. You know, let us have fun, man. Let's enjoy our games for crying out loud. Why are we trying to turn everything into a fucking grind? I'm not even mad. This is just stupid. This is a stupid idea. I'm glad it failed uh, and I hope it never pops up again. Um, screw whoever made this game. Screw them for being soulless and screw them for trying to ruin a, one of the last 
bloody hobbies we got left. I mean, it's already been screwed up enough by microtransactions and the the ex- like excessive sense of having to like accomplish something or win or feel empowered every time you play a video game. I just want to have fun. I want to play a goofy game. I want to shoot some stuff. I want to get a, a, a three points in an NBA. I just want to do something stupid in a game because that's what it's for. Man, they're just fun. Let them be fun. God. Right, well, that's it. <laughs> I guess after that, on that note, um, I'll see everyone later. Uh, I've got to I've got to close this first. So, oh, here we are. Right. Well, bye everyone.